Stop. Before you send your next email, ask yourself, is your email app actually protecting your privacy or selling your data? Is it boosting your productivity or drowning you in ads and clutter? Your email isn't just a tool. It's the gateway to your entire digital life. And using the wrong one could be costing you time, money, and even your personal information. So today we're cutting through the noise to find the best email app. We're putting Gmail, Outlook, iCloud Mail, Yahoo, Proton Mail, and Zoho Mail under the microscope. We'll break them down by ease of use, features and integrations, privacy and security, storage and value. So you can stop guessing and finally pick the app that truly works for you, no matter what you need to use it for. And of course, we're going to reveal the one email that gives you the best experience overall at the end. So keep watching to find out. Also, a quick heads up, we've included some great discount links in the description. So if you're planning to upgrade your email setup, be sure to check those out. All right, before we dive into the details of each email service, let's take a quick step back. Why does choosing the right email app even matter? Because email isn't just some boring utility anymore. It's how we handle contracts, how we send invoices, how we get updates from our teams, how we manage our schedules. It's where your online accounts live. It's your paper trail. And in recent years, the differences between email providers have gotten bigger, not smaller. Some focus on productivity, others on privacy, while some try to balance both. Some just flood you with ads, and a few, well, they haven't really changed much since the early 2000s. So choosing the wrong service can mean missed opportunities, cluttered workflows, or worse, putting your sensitive data in the hands of companies that make money by mining it. By the way, what's the most important thing to you in an email app, speed, storage, or security? Tell me in the comments. And depending on what you need, the best option might not be the one everyone else is using. So starting off with one of the big dogs, Gmail. Gmail is one of the most recognizable and widely used email services in the world, and it continues to hold its ground with a polished blend of simplicity, powerful features, and seamless integration with the Google ecosystem. Let's start with the interface. Gmail's layout is clean and super easy to use. Doesn't matter if you're a tech pro or just someone who wants to check their inbox without feeling overwhelmed. Labels and folders are intuitive. Search actually works the way you expect. And built-in AI tools like Smart Compose and Smart Reply help you fire off responses in seconds. What really sets Gmail apart, though, is how well it plays with the rest of Google's services. Need to attach a file from Drive? Schedule a meeting and calendar? Hop into a video call on Meet? It's all built right in. And with the addition of Gemini AI, Gmail can now summarize email threads or even draft your replies for you. On the storage front, Gmail gives you 15 gigabytes for free, but it's shared across Gmail, Google Drive, and Google Photos. Uh, if you're someone who stores a lot of files or snaps tons of pictures, that space can go fast. Luckily, upgrades are cheap. $2 a month gets you 100 gigabytes, and business users have plenty of tiered options through Google Workspace. Let's discuss security. Gmail has a strong foundation featuring TLS encryption, which protects your messages while they travel over the internet, and two-factor authentication for added security. Google's spam and phishing detection is among the best out there, but it's not end-to-end -end encrypted by default, which means Google can technically access your messages, mostly to help with spam filtering. That's fine for most users, but if privacy is your top concern, that's probably going to be a big no. In fact, one thing worth noting is Gmail's past controversies around data scanning for ads, even though that stopped in 2017. Plus, Gmail accounts have been targeted in high-profile phishing attacks before, so staying on top of two-factor authentication is a must. Gmail doesn't match some of our other options on privacy, and the tight integration with Google tools, while convenient, can sometimes feel like information overload. But for the majority of users, especially if you're already using Docs, Sheets, or Drive, Gmail feels like a natural extension of your workflow. Ultimately, Gmail remains one of the top email services available. It's fast, smart, packed with tools, and easy to use, making it the best if you're really into Google's ecosystem. Just make sure you understand what you're signing up for in terms of privacy. But what if privacy is your top concern? Stick around, because our number one pick was literally built for that. If you're part of the Microsoft world or work in a business environment, you're going to want to hear about this one. Outlook continues to be a top-tier choice because of its business friendliness. It's built to handle a lot, and while it can feel busier than some alternatives, that's because it's packing serious power under the hood. Let's start with the interface. Outlook isn't as minimalistic as Gmail. It's got tabs, folders, a focused inbox, and even ad banners in the free version. Some might find it a bit cluttered, but if you're used to a traditional desktop-style interface with lots of controls, Outlook feels right at home. Where Outlook really shines is in its features and integrations. Uh, it ties directly into Microsoft 365, which means you're just a click away from Word, Excel, PowerPoint, 
Teams, OneDrive, and more. That level of integration is a dream for businesses. And Outlook's co-pilot AI brings some smarts of its own, pulling up calendars and suggesting meetings right from your inbox. On the security front, Outlook covers the basics well. It uses TLS encryption in transit, two-factor authentication, and Microsoft's advanced threat protection tools like safe links and anti-phishing filters. For business users, there's even encryption options like S-MIME available, although, like Gmail, Outlook isn't end-to-end -end encrypted by default. It's enterprise-grade security, just not privacy-focused. Storage is also pretty generous. Free Outlook accounts come with 15 gigabytes of mailbox space, and Microsoft gives you an additional 5 gigabytes on OneDrive. For business users, that jumps to 50 gigabytes inboxes and 1 terabyte of OneDrive storage with Microsoft 365 plans that range from $20 to $200 per month. And unlike Gmail, your email storage isn't shared with other services. Downsides? Outlook's web app can feel less smooth compared to Gmail's, and all the extra features can be overwhelming for casual users. But if you're managing multiple calendars, attachments, and projects, Outlook is more than up to the task. Outlook is built for getting things done. It's best for professionals and businesses that rely heavily on Microsoft tools. Do you prefer Gmail's clean and simple interface or Outlook's powerhouse features? Let me know your pick below. Next up is Apple's answer to the question of email experience that fits perfectly into their ecosystem, iCloud Mail. If you use Apple devices, iCloud Mail is an easy pick. It's clean, simple, and works seamlessly across your iPhone, iPad, and Mac. The interface is minimal and ad-free, making it perfect for anyone who just wants email that works without distractions. It covers the essentials. You can sync across devices, manage multiple accounts, and use features like Hide My Email and Custom Domains if you're on iCloud+. Plus. Downside, it's pretty bare-bones compared to Gmail or Outlook. No AI tools, limited third-party integrations, and definitely not ideal for cross-platform users. Security is solid, your data is encrypted in transit, and at rest, however, it's not end-to-end -end encrypted. And another downside is storage. You only get 5 gigabytes free, and that's shared with all your iCloud data. Still, upgrades are pretty cheap. In short, iCloud Mail is best for Apple users who want a no-fuss email that just works. Now, let's take a look at something very different. Yahoo Mail. Yahoo Mail might not be the trendiest name in email anymore, but it still has a few tricks up its sleeve, especially if storage is your top priority. Let's start with space. Yahoo Mail gives you 20 gigabytes of free storage. That's a bit more than what Gmail, Outlook, or iCloud offer. But if you upgrade to Yahoo Mail Plus for $5 a month, that jumps to 200 gigabytes and removes ads. The interface sticks to a traditional layout, folders on the left, email preview on the right, and smart views that help sort things like attachments, travel plans, and purchases. It's easy to navigate and appreciate the extra features like connecting multiple email accounts. That said, it's not all sunshine. Yahoo Mail still shows ads in the free version, which can make the interface feel cluttered and dated. And while it's generally smooth to use, it doesn't have the same deep integrations or AI-powered tools you'd find in Gmail or Outlook. Now, before you jump in, we have to talk about security. Yahoo has had one of the worst security records in the industry, including the massive breaches in 2013 and 2014 that exposed billions of accounts. While security has improved since then, it's hard to ignore that history. And when it comes to privacy, Yahoo lags behind the competition. While it uses standard SSL encryption in transit and offers two-factor authentication, it doesn't provide end-to-end -end encryption. Plus, its history of data breaches and ad-based scanning puts it a step behind more privacy-focused services. Overall, it is best for casual users who want a simple, familiar email experience with loads of free storage. Just be aware of the ads and keep privacy expectations in check. Coming from Yahoo's massive storage and ad-heavy feel, let's switch gears to something cleaner and more business-ready, Zoho Mail. Zoho Mail is built for small teams and professionals. It's ad-free even on the free plan and has a minimal modern interface. It connects smoothly with other Zoho tools like Calendar, Drive, and CRM, plus third-party apps like Zoom and Asana. You also get custom domains, shared inboxes, and streams, which is a team chat built directly into your inbox. Privacy is a strong suit. Zoho doesn't scan your mail, and it supports PGP and S-MIME encryption. You get 5 gigabytes of free storage for up to 5 users, with affordable upgrades starting at just $1 per user monthly. Also, don't forget to use our link in the description to save money on your purchase. Zoho is best for small businesses or privacy-conscious professionals looking for a clean, ad-free alternative. By the way, if privacy matters to you, Zoho is good, but our next contender takes it to a whole new level. From Zoho's clean business focus, we move to something built entirely around privacy and still manages to do everything else right. Proton Mail. 
ProtonMail continues to lead the way when it comes to secure email. End-to-end -end encryption is baked in by default, meaning not even Proton can read your emails. And it's completely open source, meaning you can go over to GitHub right now and audit their code. It's also hosted in Switzerland, with some of the most strict privacy laws on the planet. Proton also doesn't show ads or log your data. Proton Mail isn't just about encryption. It also offers Proton Bridge, which lets you use Proton with desktop clients like Outlook and Apple Mail. There's also Easy Switch for importing from Gmail or Outlook. The interface is sleek and user friendly. It doesn't overwhelm you, just your inbox, folders, and simple action buttons. For anyone switching from Gmail, there's a short adjustment, but basic functions like search, labels, and composing are all straightforward. Proton also includes encrypted extras, Proton Calendar, Proton Drive, and even a VPN if you're on a higher tier plan. Plus, you can send passphrase protected messages to non Proton users and set emails to self destruct. On the free plan, you get just one gigabyte of storage, which is pretty small, but paid tiers unlock 15 gigabytes, 500 gigabytes, or even up to 3 terabytes depending on the plan. It's more expensive than others, but the trade-off is top-notch privacy. Proton is the best for security-first users who want maximum privacy and are willing to pay for it. It's not the most integrated or storage-heavy, but for protecting your inbox, it's the gold standard. So, after putting all these email services head-to-head, -head, Gmail still dominates when it comes to productivity and seamless integration with Google tools. If you're already living in that ecosystem, it just makes sense. Outlook, on the other hand, is built for professionals and businesses that need serious power and Microsoft 365 integration. iCloud Mail is perfect for Apple fans who want something clean and simple without the distractions, while Yahoo Mail offers a ton of free storage if that's your main priority. And then there's Zoho Mail, which is an amazing option for small businesses and privacy-conscious users who want great features without breaking the bank. But if we're talking about the ultimate winner, the crown goes to Proton Mail. It's not the cheapest option, and free storage is definitely limited. But when it comes to privacy and security, nothing else comes close. Tap here for the full ProtonMail deep dive, or check out the best cloud storage tools to keep the rest of your digital life protected.